thin canvas that we're working on. And since I really didn't have time, I was running around like a crazy person and didn't have time to um, get my canvas painted. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then we'll just hit it with a blow dryer real quick and it won't take two seconds. So I'm gonna start with white, just acrylic white. And I am going to squirt some on my canvas. Oh no, no, no ma'am. No ma'am, whatever that is. Ugh, that's a, a paint snake. Ugh, that was gross. All right, try again. All right. I'm a hot mess today. Let me get a towel. And I'm gonna grab a larger brush. Yes, and I'm gonna post the template for yesterday's and today's when I get off of here. Today was just a crazy day, and we had a lot of orders, and we had, uh, I had a tax assessor in here today too, it's driving me crazy. So I will be doing those. Oh my God, that was like a snake. I'm not sure that was so much a bug as it was a snake. So I got way too much paint, but we're gonna work through. So I'm just gonna cover my entire canvas with white. That's a lot of white, a lot of white. But we're going to, we'll get, off, we'll get some of it off. That was way too much paint, see? I got excited after that little snake came out. So let's clean this up a little. See, I got all kinds. It's time for a new bottle of paint because there's all kinds of those little dried little boogers in there. Draws me crazy. Draws me crazy. Oh my God, that was hilarious, wasn't it, Jerry? I mean, I don't care what you say. I know some people are like insulted and uh, you know, they don't think that's funny, but oh my God, it, it was hilarious. I couldn't even breathe. It was hilarious. <laughs> there was a lot of poop talk. Poots and toots, a lot of it. It's just a natural thing. Okay, what's that? So I'm gonna add on my white, just a little drop. <laughs> Connie said it's a gas. A little drop of golden straw, just a tiny little drop. Mm. And a little drop here and maybe a little drop there. And we'll kind of blend that out. You see, it's just like a, just a tiny, the tiniest drop. Tiniest drop, and we're gonna just blend that into our white so that it's not stark white. It'll help reflect some of that gold. I might have got a little too much, but that's all right. It's okay. So there we are, that's our background. So I'm going to grab Toot Scoot and Boogie. Oh my gosh, y'all are doing the toot jokes again. I'm gonna grab my blow dryer and just give me two seconds to get this dry. So if, your ear, if your ears are sensitive to loud noise, this might be loud on your end. So turn your volume down for a quick 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. <laughs> no? Ready, set, don't go. There we are. how fast that was. Uh, no, they'll always just be here, Sherry. We will uh, post the tracer, the link to this page, the tracer, and I think that's what Sherry's been doing, tracer and the color list on the Shattered Circle. But if I had to post every video on, on the membership site, it would be insanity. Okay, I'm gonna move these just until we get ready to resin. Because it takes um, 
it's kind of wobbly and it's driving me crazy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace our um, infinity and our words onto our canvas, okay? So I wanna kinda, I do want my words to be a little lower, so I am gonna tape this down right here with my tape, and then we'll do the infinity, and then we'll move it down a little to do our words, okay? So I'm gonna use the black. I'm gonna be very careful and light-handed so I don't make too much of a mess, and that'll be easy to cover. And I'm gonna trace the infinity with the, um, the, the graphite paper. So just give me one second while I hold my mouth right. Oops, I got a little out of line. We'll have to fatten that side up a little. It just went, it did its own thing. We'll make it work. Whoop. So remember to always double check before you remove your tracer. You're gonna want to uh, just lift up and make sure everything is traced the way you want it. Looks great. But now I wanna move the words down because I think I want the words to be a little lower. So I'm gonna center that. Then we'll press this tape back down and do, hey Mary Ellen, Kathy, Karen, Michelle, Janet. Hello, hello. No, I didn't do the tracer freehand. I literally, uh, pull, <laughs> don't laugh, but here's how I did the tracer. Because, you know, I, you know I didn't do the tracer for the um, words. Uh, I literally pulled it up, the infinity, on my computer and taped my tracing paper to the computer and used a marker. I could never freehand this in a million years. Never, never, never. I'm not that good. I'm, I'm just not exact. I can draw, I can uh, sketch things, but making something that's this, you know, perfectly shaped, there's no way, no stinking way. Couldn't do it. All right, so I am going to really quick trace my words. Yeah, I hold my mouth right when I do this too. So, whew, law. Hello, Australia, how are you? Yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, don't you? Got to do what you gotta do. I can, I can uh, draw a lot of things and sketch a lot of things, but something that's like a perfectly shaped heart or this infinity symbol or, you know, just something like that, there is no way. It'll be all wonky and it wouldn't look good. So I always um, just find something I can use as a model. We're getting there. I'm not even doing a very good job of tracing these words, I don't think. It's quiet. Traffic is settling down a little bit. I think it was so bad the other day because it was voting and there's a lot of traffic and uh, it just made for some craziness because it is loud. It is loud, those cars coming, coming and going, because I'm right on the street. I know this takes, it'd be, you know, this would be faster if I would just learn how to letter. 
but that would be too easy. And honestly, I'm not sure I could do it. You know, I might be able to because my arthritis gets so bad sometimes. But here we go. Here we are. I think that looks pretty good. Looks good. Okay, let me take this apart so I can scan it when we're done. Put this away. Add this to my pile. So, who is ready? We are actually going to use this gold. I did, Catherine. I called them and hopefully, uh, oh, they're coming. They said they fixed it. I was on a wrong bandwidth or something, blah, blah, blah. I don't, you know, I'm not tech. I don't know these things. They were just talking about stuff and I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. But anyway, they are also coming out tomorrow to check and make sure everything's good because I, I fussed at them pretty good. The guy said, how are you doing today? And I said, I'm grumpy. And he was like, oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he thought I was going to fuss and yell at him, but I didn't. And I told him, I said, I'm not going to take it out on you, but I need your help. So this is a folk art metallic pure gold. Pure gold is the name of the color, and it's just a metallic gold. You can use whatever your little heart desires. But I wanted to put uh, at least one coat of paint under here so that it reflects that gold glass really nice. So I'm gonna cover my line as I go. We're just gonna paint our little symbol. I'm gonna go right on top with my, the tip of my bristles. Hold your mouth right. Stick your tongue out if you need to. Ugh. So my little friend Carla, who I made yesterday's uh, art piece for, cried. She was like, she was all teary. I was like, you can't cry. I'm not gonna make you art if you're gonna cry. <laughs> She's such a little precious, such a little precious thing. Y'all would love her. She is a non-Facebook girl though. She does not do Facebook. Oh, y'all too. I don't know how many y'all saw this, if we're friends. Um, I got a half a dozen. I sure could, Lisa. Could you send me an email and remind me to do that? I will certainly do anything you guys want me to. Um, I got a half a dozen long stem, beautiful roses today with nobody's name. They were addressed to me. And <coughs> it said... Um, the Masked Man. So, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have a secret admirer? I don't know. Could be. <laughs> like I said, you either love me or you hate me. Somebody love me. Well, they probably don't love me, love me, but you know. You know what I'm trying to say. No, it wasn't Steve. <laughs> Steve and I had a parting of the ways. Yes, we had a parting of the ways. That was short, sweet, and straight to the point. That didn't last long. <laughs> I don't know who it was. It wasn't the man that used to be. But yeah, we... we uh. Things were moving just a little too fast for my taste, and yeah, I'm not sorry. You know, it is what it is. I'm 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 older and uh, less apt to pull up with put up with any malarkey 
these days, so. And there was malarkey. There was malarkey. <laughs> Steve is history. His story, history. So, yeah, I will be posting uh, relationship statuses on Facebook again. <laughs> Just going to keep that secret. And uh, not that I have one. I'm just going to keep that to myself until uh, I know things are going to work out. Because that was stupid. <laughs> it's all good. My feelings are not hurt in the least. Tis what it is. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get through this live without getting stuck again. It's the test of all tests. Almost there. So, I know it's kind of boring watching somebody paint just one color. <laughs> But whatever. Okay, so our infinity is done. I'm just gonna use just that one coat of paint because we're gonna use some of this gold reflective glass over the top. I just wanted to have some color underneath to help make that pop. So now I'm gonna put black on my palette. My palette is a disaster. I think this will be the last time we use this palette. <laughs> just some regular old black. And I'm going to use a liner brush. It's just a round pointy brush to uh, do my lettering. So I'm going to wet it and um, make sure my uh, paint is somewhat runny. I want it to be kind of ink-like consistency so it flows really nicely over our words. I'm going to get some of that excess off so it doesn't drip on my canvas. So... I'm gonna, y'all need to talk about toots or something while I do this, cause I'm gonna try to be a little quiet cause I have to hold my breath while I'm doing this or it'll be a hot mess, right? <laughs> so I am just gonna try to like hold my breath and hold my mouth right and you guys uh, can talk amongst yourself. If, if okay, we're gonna use gold glass. I went, so this is done in the metallic gold. Then I used the black. Just regular black to do the, the words that says, love needs no words. And, oh, stressing me out. So I'm going to use this gold to create my infinity. Yeah, this is like, okay, I, can, I know you can just see my lap. Nobody wants all that. But uh, this is like, way too many times in a row that this has happened and it's really making me a little bit crazy. So I am going to use my glue. I'm gonna use my glue and yeah, yeah, I guess uh, they are fact, checked in, fact checking whether love needs words or not. I'm gonna use my glue to outline the uh, infinity so we keep it in place since it's kind of an exactamundo little thing. So I'm gonna just use my glue to keep me in line. It's probably Facebook trying to keep me in line. I probably said the S word, you know, sprinkle. They threw me out. So I'm gonna do this side first and then we'll get to the other side. So I'm gonna just get a few little nuggets at a time and push them in and try to maintain the integrity of this symbol. When it's something this small, it's hard to just be willy-nilly with your glass. You kinda have to manage it a little better. Gosh, I don't know what's happening, but you know what? I need it to stop. I'm going to have to go live 16 times tomorrow to make sure my internet's working and that Facebook's working. 
because we cannot have a thousand people in a challenge getting kicked off of Facebook. That would not bode well for me. It would be, would be terrible. I would die. I would be so upset. Yeah, when when um, I logged off because I didn't think you could, you guys could see me, and then it wouldn't let me log back on. It wouldn't let me do anything actually. It shut my Wi-Fi completely down. Maybe the world's coming to an end. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're gonna make we're gonna make our infinity if it takes all night. I'm determined. Facebook gone crazy. You know, we actually probably depend on it a little too much for our lives. A little eye opener that maybe we shouldn't. But I'll tell you what, I don't know what I'd do. Something ever happens and... <laughs> oh, thank you, Irene. The rosy glass is gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, if something ever happens and y'all can't find me, check your email. I'll be emailing you all the business. Cause I don't have any idea what's going on with the Facebook. They're being naughty. They can't be messing with their customers like that though. I'm a paying customer. Are you Sandra? Sandra's having Facebook issues. I haven't been on Facebook much today, so because I've had other emergencies around here and other stuff going on, trying to get things shipped and all that stuff, keeping up with inventory, tax assessor, all that stuff. But So I haven't really noticed, but I'm glad it wasn't me this time. That's all I can say. I've had enough of that. We're just going to, I'm just going to keep filling in. I'm trying to use smaller bits so that they spread out. I don't want to use great old big chunks. So I'm kind of nitpicking through. There's one side. I do have a uh, rose gold in stock. I'm pretty sure it's on the page on the website. Thank you for the star, Chandra. Very sweet. I need glue, don't I? I need to add my glue to the edges. Yeah, it's very annoying when you're working on something and you got, you know, 75, 100 people watching and then they just shut you down. Or your internet goes in and out, in and out, in and out. It's like, what? All I can say is get behind me, devil, because you're not deterring me. You're not deterring the Cindy today. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. All right, so I'm gonna just keep adding my glass. And I'm thinking once we're done, I'm gonna make about, I had too much resin yesterday. So I think I'm gonna stick to about two ounces today. I need a curve here and there. Let me get some more. So this is, I've only used, well this is, there's still some in the plate, but I'm gonna say half a pound maximum for this. There's a half a pound on my plate. So we'll see how much is left, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like half a pound for this art piece. So does anybody have any questions about our Rain Boots Challenge? We're super excited about that. We are starting our challenge on Monday. So if you haven't joined us, don't wait till it's too late. We need to get you in there so you can get all your supplies, so you can get your paints and all the things you need and uh, paint with us. We really love it when you guys paint with us. Show us your business. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I might be stuck again, but I'm just gonna keep on. Because last time you said you could see me. Give me some hearts. Can y'all hear me? Are we are we doing the same thing again? Are we? I'm just I'm just gonna keep on. I don't know what's happening. Facebook. Oh good. I see hearts. Thank goodness. I'm starting to get paranoid now. <laughs> Starting to get paranoid. I don't know what's happening. Mark needs to get his act together, doesn't he? Get it together, Mark. Awesome. Good. Glad you can. That's so frustrating, guys. You have no idea. I know it frustrates y'all. Imagine how frustrating it is on my end. Because I sometimes I just don't even know. Oh, Catherine, that's so awesome. I cannot wait to see us. I've seen a couple out there. I love the modifications some of you ladies have done. So I cannot wait to see your dresses. That, and you, you should do it in other colors too. I have sold it in rose gold. I've sold it in black. I've sold it in platinum. What other color? I think that's it. Now I'm gonna micromanage my edges a little, just add a few little nuggets where I think I need them, where I'll find some little holes. Let's scoop up. So yeah, that is going to be a seller, I promise you that. Every time I make one. It goes quick. Let's see. I think we're good. Let me just eyeball it a quick second. Yes, I've done it in red. That's right, I forgot about the red. Glass beads. I don't really have red glass, so I use glass beads. So this looks pretty good. Let me show you this close up. Lovely. So we're going to mix resin now. Uh, if you're in the shattered circle, there is Barbara. If you're not, oh, poo. Look what I did. If you're not, there is not. That is a an exclusive for the shattered circle. So you have to be in the group to get that pattern. Okay. Did I fix them all? I bumped it and knocked everything loose. Okay, yeah, then you need to go to the Shattered Circle website and it was released on Monday. It should be, it'll be in your April tab on the Shattered Circle website. So I'm gonna mix two ounces and I'm gonna use my little baby cups to um, measure and then I'm gonna pour it in this cup, okay? So I'm gonna take my pen and mark my one ounce line. I'm gonna actually scoot this over just a little. Try not to mess it up so I can put my cup right here. So I'm gonna mark one ounce on each of my cups. There's one there and one here. And then we'll put our gloves on. <clears throat> Left loop has glass out of place. Oh. Let me see. Is it, oh, it's right here. Okay. I had to look at the picture. That better? Is that all? I think we're good now. Thank you, Charlene. Laura, we're going to be opening. Or did you join? Um, a ra did you join the uh, Rain Boots Challenge? Because we are going to be opening our uh, Shattered Circle as soon as the um, Rain Boots Challenge is over. You'll get special access. 
Uh, and then we're going to open to the public on the following Monday. So if you're in the challenge, you'll get to uh, join early. And uh, so, But we'll, we, we will be opening the week after that. So I'm going to pour my resin. This is part one, which is the hardener. I'm going to pour one ounce. i got to slow my roll. I'm getting a little excited. Yeah, so Laura, you'll have an opportunity to join the uh, Shattered Circle membership on Wednesday, I believe. We're going to open the doors on Wednesday. Okay, so we have one ounce of hardener. Now we're going to pour one ounce of resin. And send me that via email so I won't forget. I love doing those things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so we have an ounce and an ounce. <coughs> so now what I'm going to do is pour them into my big cup because we can't mix them in those. So I'm going to take them and... Pour them in this cup, and then we'll mix for three minutes. Is Catherine back? Catherine, are you here, babe? All right. We got all the juice out of that one. I gotta take a sip, y'all. Between Facebook and my scratchy throat, I can't breathe. So now we're pouring the resin. So it's the art resin is a two-part epoxy. It is non-hazmat, non. Thank you, Tanya. I don't know if uh, Catherine made it back. Uh, it's a two-part epoxy. You mix it 50-50. So whatever resin you use, you'll need to look for the directions on that particular resin because all resins are not created equal. <coughs> so Tanya, if you're ready, I'm ready too. Let's mix. And keep in mind that... Um, oh, did I miss it? <laughs> That's right, Jen. That's what I need to do, except I have three devices on right now, and they would all be doing something crazy. So we're, gonna, we're going to mix. We're going to scrape our sides until three minutes is up. We're going to scrape the bottom, scrape the sides, and we're just going to continue to stir. So now's a good time to ask any questions you might have about this art piece, about... Um, um, our rain boots challenge, or even about um, even about autis autism awareness, because Jen here in the in, in on the page is actually autistic herself, and she would be more than happy, I think, to answer any questions somebody might have. She is the inspiration for the piece that we're doing. <laughs> She's the inspiration for the piece we're doing right now. And we are going to gift this piece to her. So who's talking about toots again? <laughs> Y'all silly. Y'all some silly folks. This is going to be so pretty. So pretty. I'm loving it. So, I want to remind you, do we freeze for a second? Um, I want to remind you again as well, if you have a friend you think would like my videos, who would enjoy watching us create live art, we would love it if you would let them know that we are here and you know how to do that. So if you would do that, I'd appreciate it. And really, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you and tell you that I am a couple hundred people short in my Rain Boots Challenge, that I, my vanity number, and my goal was to beat my last challenge by at least 100, so I'm a few hundred short. So if you know somebody you think might want to play along and join us for our Rain Boots Challenge, I would be ever so grateful 
that you shared our link with them or this page or just let them know we're here. And we, I would be so appreciative of that. You guys know I love y'all. I love making art with you guys. And um, if y'all help me hit my goal, we may have a little contest. We may give away some things. Y'all know I like doing that too. So hopefully we'll be straight. Thank you for sprinkles. So don't forget that I'm 15 seconds behind on my iPad. So if you say uh, stop stirring and I haven't yet, it's because it hadn't popped up on my screen. Three minutes done, she said. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my glass. Before I do this, I'm gonna take a clean brush and just make sure I don't have any debris blow it a little. Just make sure there's no icky. No icky. Clean that up. All right. Oh no, Ann, what's up with that? That's probably something Facebook is doing again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with my glass and I'm gonna start from the left and move over so that I can make sure I'm getting everything covered. I like to be methodical in my glass application because I don't like having to re-resin things. So, and if I get a piece of glass, I'll see that I kind of have one a little out of place. I'll fix those and <laughs> I'll fix those when I'm done. I know my kitty cats are so lonely. No meowing, no fussing by the bean. So I know they miss me being home all day. Yeah, I'll have to tape it and, and post it in the background. Instead of music, we'll have kitty, kitty cat meows. <laughs> that's too funny. They miss they mama during the day, that's for sure. They're all over me when I get home in the afternoons. But honestly, it's just better for me to have a studio space it was really kind of taken over my house, you know, the selling the glass and selling product and even selling art. And, you know, car poor Carla was having to come to my house to work every day. And, you know, and then I was sick. <laughs> so it was crazy. So I'm glad to be able to have a studio and get all of this stuff out of my house. And I just work better if I go to work. You know, if I have to stay home, then I procrastinate. I'm like, well, I can do that later. I can do that after lunch. I can do that, you know, I'm bad that way. So yes, you can use a marker to create your your words, but you wanna make it like a Posca pen, or you just wanna make sure it doesn't run. So do not use like a Sharpie you want something that's ar like a Posca pen or something that's archive quality so that when you apply the resin, it doesn't smear the ink. So uh, you might test it on whatever you're using, test it on something before you do an art piece. So now I'm just gonna spread my resin. I actually made too much. I probably could have used just an ounce. I have way too much. I'm gonna have to make something else because I finished my little ornament yesterday. So let me spread this around. Yeah, Jen says Posca paint pens too. Uh, Catherine says graphic pen, water-based, archive quality. Yeah, if you're good at lettering, definitely. I mean, you can use a pen to just trace on, kind of like I did with paint, but I kind of learned to letter with paint when, you know, back when I was, before I was an old woman. Uh, and so it's just easier for me to do it that way. So you do you, you do what's best for you, what's easiest for you. I'm trying to scoot in, make sure everything's lined up nicely. 
We don't want any wild ones. I see a missy though. I see a little missed spot. I'm not sure how that happened. So now I'm gonna kind of hit the edges. Uh, after you mix it, Diana, it depends on how much you mix, but I never mix more than like 16 ounces if I'm doing a large piece. 16 is my max, so I'll mix and mix and mix till it's done. But for a small amount like this, you could probably get away with uh, about 30 or 45 minutes. The more you mix, the least amount of time you have. Now I'm looking at it from different angles to make sure that it's all covered nicely. So you basically have, um, I see debris. You basically have about uh, 45, 30 to 45 minutes max, yes, to get it done. So I'm gonna get this debris out. I don't know where that came from. I can't get it up. Come on. All right, let me check for other pieces. And then we'll hit it with our torch. I think we're good. One more debris. Little peach fuzz. Here we go. Oh no, are they really? People are stealing the art supplies? I'm gonna leave my gloves on because I have an entire ounce of resin left. I'm gonna have to pour on something. Uh, actually, I do have an art piece. I made another uh, Faith Angel Wings, so I can use it on that. And I'm gonna hit this with my torch real quick, and then I'm gonna look it over again. I see a little something right here. It kind of pops out too when, uh, when you torch, it kind of clears everything up. It pops those bubbles and then you're able to see if there's anything icky in there. We'll do it one more time. So there we are, guys. Love leads no, needs no words. Autism, April, autism awareness. I'm gonna spread these out for a sec, uh, just so I make sure I don't make a mess. So this is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Looks great with the gold glass.